find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max. Max, here, now. No. Treat. <laughs> All right, hold still. Then he took some red thread, and he tied the big cord on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh. He hitched up old Max. Then the prince said, Giddy up! And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All the windows were dark white. When he came to the first little house on the square. This is stop number one. The old Grinch Claus this. And he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. Then, the, then he slid down the chimney and ran a tight fit. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace lift, where the little who stockings all hung in a row. These stockings he grinned. are the first things to go. Then he slithered and slunk with, with a smile most unpleasant. Around the whole room, and he took every present. Pop guns. And bicycles. Roller skates. Drums. Checkerboards. Tricycles. Popcorn. And plums. And he stuffed them in bags. He took the Who's Feast. He took the Who Pudding. He took the Roast Feast. When that drink even took the last can of Who Hatch. He stuffed up all the food, hugged the chimney with glee. And now, I just stuff up that tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to show. She stared at the Grinch and said, Why, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and slick, he thought of a lie. He thought of a quip. Why, my dear little Todd, the baby Santa Claus lied. But there's a light on this tree that won't light on the, this side. <laughs> so I'm taking it back to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, and I'll bring it back right here. And it's still full of then he patted her head, and he got for her a drink, and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Luhu went to bed with her cup, he stuffed up the chimney and met the tree. And then the last thing he took was the log for the fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was twelve thousand years old for a mouse. Then he did the same. Crumbs, much too small for the other who's passes. The quarter passed on. <laughs> All the who's still in bed. All the who's still a snooze. But he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents. The ribbons. The wrappings. The tags. And the tinsel. The trimmings. The trappings. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet. He rode, he rode with his load to the tippy top to dump it. True to lose the who's. He was perfectly coming. <laughs> oh, they're waking, they're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're waking up now and I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two. And then all the who's down in Whoville will cry, boo-hoo. And that's a noise I simply must hear. So he paused and the Grinch put his hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in love. Then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. But the sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so. But it was merry. Merry. He stared down at Pooville. The Grinch popped his eyes. 
Then you shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Everything in the Nubo Vitalis Mosque was singing. Without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or the other, it came just the same. When the Grinch was Grinch, Grinch feet as cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without packed ribbons. It came without packages. It came without boxes or packages or tags. He puzzled three hours till his tusk was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he had before. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store, but maybe Christmas perhaps means more. And what happened then? Well, a new bill was saying the Grinch's small heart was three times as massive. The minute his heart didn't feel so, quite so tight, he wheezed with his load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys. And the food for the feast. Carved the rest feast. 